from now on you can forget about smoked salmon. If you give this recipe a try, this will be the most unforgettable way of cooking fish you've ever had. Okay guys, we are getting into seafood here. Is salmon seafood? I don't know. It goes back and forth. They go back and forth all the time. I don't know guys. All I know is that I'm going to teach you today your future favorite way of cooking fish. Let's go. Today we will be cooking this amazing salmon fillet. Eating salmon has many benefits. It is says to lower your blood pressure, helps with weight loss, full with great vitamins and fish oil, and it does wonders for your joints. But beyond that, it is delicious and nutritious. But when you're buying salmon, you have to be careful. In today's market, the high demand for such a great meat has captured the attention of many people, and farms have been created to raise salmon. Although I don't have any problem with foreign salmon, in some countries the farming of these animals is less regulated than other ones. So the quality and health of the fish is at least questionable. Recently there has been some news coming from China where they say that they have been trying to clone salmon. I'm not the most qualified person to talk about this topic, but if it's cloned, I will try to avoid it. Whenever I go to the supermarket for salmon, I'll try to buy the wild-caught salmon meat instead of the farm raised. It has better flavors and you will be consuming a healthier animal in general. The bad part of all that is that the wild fish is going to cost you a little bit more than the farm one. The other main thing that we're going to use today will be a cedar plank. Cedar planks are available everywhere. You can get them in Walmart, Winn-Dixie, Publix and pretty much every supermarket sells them. These planks are amazing for cooking fish as the wood flavor penetrates the flaky meat getting deep by intermingling with the oils of the fish. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do with these planks is to submerge them in water for one hour. The idea here is to get the wood to suck as much water as possible so it doesn't burn when we put them on the grill. We want them to heat up and release all those amazing essence the wood has inside, but not to burn. Meanwhile, we will get all the ingredients we will be using in this recipe and get them ready so we can move fast once that plank is soaked. For this recipe, we will need the following ingredients. One tablespoon of oil, half a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of culture salt, one tablespoon of pepper, two tablespoons of the best honey you can find, the zest of one full orange, one lemon, a handful of mint leaves, and one orange. But don't worry too much about taking notes right now and leaving the full recipe in the description of the video. And no matter what kind of fish you're dealing with, you always remember to check for bones. There will always be some little bones hiding in the meat, and it sucks to get them stuck in your throat. I'm talking from experience. Once you take your plank out of the water, dry it off with a paper towel and add a little bit of oil to it. The first thing I will do is to get the fillet to fit on the plank as perfect as possible. And now is when the fun starts. I'll be seasoning this meat with salt and pepper. Also, I'll be adding the brown sugar, orange zest, and the handful of mint leaf we cut before. I know deal is also recommended, but this mint leaf will give a beautiful aroma and taste as you never experienced before in salmon. Once that is done, you need to add your orange and lemon slices to the fish and arrange them as I'm doing here. And of course, the final touch is the honey. The better quality of the honey, the better flavors it will add to the fish. With all ready, let's get this beauty to the grill and place it in the cool zone. Now it is also a great time to add some wood to the charcoal so we can get those smoke flavors going on. Close the grill and let it be. At this point, all you have to do is to monitor the internal temperature of the fish and remove it from the grill as soon as it hits 140 degrees. If you like your fish well cooked, you can let it go all the way up to 150 degrees internal temperature. And after all that hard work, this is what we get the most flavorful, beautiful, delicious smoked salmon you will ever have. 
Well, Miss Ninja, I have this beauty here for you. Well, let me tell you, presentation, the nice. bomb. This looks beautiful. So good. I look, love it. Look at the glaze it has on top. Man, yes. this thing is amazing. The colors, guys. the brown color, the orange, the oh, I love it. Can we just try? It's time to give it a try. Let's get the pine tree away from it. <laughs> the pine tree. And let's get this stuff. Mm. Oh man. I'm more than ready. Hold on, my ninja. Hold on. Let me just get mm -hmm. this thing on dress. On dress. Smells, smells so citric and so it beautiful. It does. It does. Sweet. sweet. All right. Let's go, Miss Ninja. I let's want go. to. I want to try this corner here because I, I want, want to try to, the corner too. Look, see. I want to feel that glaze. The crispy. Mmm. Let's see how you like it, Miss Ninja. Let's go. I never done this for you. Okay, the first time. I know. Color is beautiful. Oh wow. Man, it is outstanding. Wow. I love it. Mm. Are you ready? This thing is delicious, brother and sisters. Oh it my is goodness, so guys! Good. So much citric flavor in there. Mm. Then you have all that sweetness going on, and then you have that honey, man. Oh, brother! I love it. This is so good. This is, I'm trying to oh, figure out fall. the name. I mean, look at the color, guys. The colors is perfect. It's perfectly done. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. The closer you get to the middle. My goodness. This is outstanding. This the way that it's done. This one is like more medium. If you want it more well cooked, you let it go all the way to 150 degrees. It's gonna be perfect like that. But this is the way we like it here, man. The colors are amazing. The taste is crazy. You did an Brother. unbelievable job. Brother, this is another team, man. Good job. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Mm. Can we say goodbye so we can keep eating? You know what we need here? <laughs> we need some alcaparras right on top and that's mm. gonna be it. I love the flavor. Man, guys, this thing was crazy good. Easy to make. It has a few ingredients, but it's nothing crazy that you cannot find anywhere. It is really good. You should really give it a try because it's amazing. If we made you hungry, please hit us with the like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to share these videos on the social network, on your social network, because it helps us a lot. <laughs> if you have any comment, any complaint, or if you would like to make something like this at home, put it down there in the comments, man, because everything is in the video. You don't, there is nothing missing in there. You're gonna have a beautiful piece of salmon like that. Yes, it is. That's all for today, but remember that I love you. Mm, we love you. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.